how to create email templates in monday.com hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to create an email or a lot of email templates into the monday product management uh, platform so it is going to be very easy and very simple we are going to head over monday.com sign in for an account and then you're going to see the dashboard of your account once you're here what are we going to do is basically head over the workspace so once you have the workspace loaded what are we going to do from here basically is to create an automation since the emails or the email integration of gmail is going to be related to the automations so you can go ahead and do nothing without the automation for sending emails and only have here the comments and nothing is going to be added aside from notifications but you can go ahead and click on create automation you are going to click on automate and from then you're going to see all of the automations now here at the, as you can see on the left side of the screen we have the categories of the automation basically we do not need an automation from here but what do we need is to head over the integrations so we're going to see from the integrations as you can see here gmail you need it for that a google email at least connected to your monday.com click on gmail and you're going to see that we have automations so for example you can go ahead and see whatever you want so either you're going to have the automations from gmail to monday or monday to gmail so for example as you can see this one is going to be monday to gmail every time period if for example is uh, or the status is something send an email to someone for example when an email is received create an item in group and also we have all of these so you can go ahead and use a template or you can go ahead and create a custom template i can go ahead and create a custom template by setting up the first trigger for example what this or when this happens this is going to be the trigger so you can go ahead and click on it and see the specific triggers that we have we have triggers for recurring or dates as you can see we have sub items we have items moved or changed the position as you can see i update created item name or item name changed and etc also we have the column change like bottom clicked person assigned or something like that also we have some of these or the most used ones like these so i'm going to have a status or the basic one is going to be maybe item created so i can go ahead and have an item created so the uh, as you can see here the uh, action to do is to have here the actions so what are we going to do is basically to send an email so we are going to have the email uh, or you can see here we have gmail we're going to create an email then gmail or send an email or here we are going to put the email we're going to have the subject and also the email so we are going to have the uh, the subject of the email we are going to have the new item item or task created so we are going to attract the attention of the uh, let's say here uh, the team so you can go ahead and type in your email and also you can have the auto populate fields from a board item you can have for example the owner the item name i'm going to have the item name for example the board name username for example due date I'm going to have the status, the due date, and also the priority. I'm going to have them all together. Also, we can go ahead and have maybe the uh, board name. And then we have created a email template. This is the template that will be saved for that specific email. To someone, so for example, who to send the email. You're going to either assign yourself or the email column that you're going to have the email created for team member for example or you can have people board subscribers teams and guests so i'm going to maybe have the email so you can go ahead and create maybe the notes which is going to be containing the emails and then you're going to create the automation now you need to connect only your gmail account it is going to be very easy click on connect and then choose your google account so as you can see i have chosen my email address i'm going to select all the access for monday.com and we are going to click on continue after that we're going to see the connection of the specific 
email address of ours. And here we have the automation created, successfully of course. Now we are going to give it for a few times or a little bit of times and fail to load the automations. This is going to be normal. That means that you need to create it from scratch. This is going to happen maybe if uh, you're going to have the uh, first time connecting your Gmail account, you're going to choose your Gmail. Then you're going to have the subject, also the email. So you're going to have it right there to someone. So this is going to be here. The email and the type or the uh, type of the email is going to be stuck. So you need only to refresh maybe the page. So I'm going to head over here and redo the process real quick. So we can go ahead and have everything set up. So here you can have everything set. So item or task created for you. So you're going to have here tie, uh, the board item name. I'm going to have this one. Board username, for example, status, due date, notes, priorities. Someone, you're going to use emails, for example, for that. And you're going to select this. They can create automation and this is the right step. So the automation has been created successfully and here you have it. You can go ahead and add other automations by doing the same, but you can change the trigger and also the action. That was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.